Ah, bonjour Vogue, it's me, Violet Tchotchke. We're here in Paris today. You're gonna be following me in a behind the scenes look as I get ready for the Jean-Paul Gaultier Couture Show. Come on in. My number one tip for skincare in general, I think would be a dermatologist. A, dermato a good dermatologist like saved my skin. And after that, I think it's just about moisturizing and cleansing properly and finding the right products that work for your skin. If I could take one beauty product with me to a deserted island that's not makeup, it'd be SPF, obviously. Okay, so Jean-Paul Gaultier sent over some amazing couture looks. So let's try to figure out what I'm gonna wear. The most, the most fun part for me is the clothes, always. Okay, immediately I am drawn to this gorgeousness. I think what I like most about fashion is the creativity and the fantasy. That's what always draws me into something, and I think Jean-Paul Gaultier has like an amazing ability to take you into a fantasy land with all of his shows. I hope to God this fits. It's so beautiful, wow. And he's also like one of my favorite queer designers, and I think that is something that is really important to me. Et voila. Okay, option number one. I love it. I think it's a really viable option. I feel gorgeous. I would describe my style in three words as vamp, glam, and luxury. Let's see what else we have though, shall we? I think this skirt is, I love a full skirt, you know, and then this bra that goes with it is so fabulous. The bra is so me. It's a bit snug, but I will find a way to make it work. It's gorgeous, it adds a lovely bit of sparkle, and that is always preferred. So I think this is the look. I think we have a winner. Okay, so I just realized that I'm, I've put the dress on backwards. But I think I might prefer it like this. So this is the back of the dress, and this is the front. And I think I might wear it like this because I'm an individual, and I'm allowed to make styling choices as I see fit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so the number one rule for fashion week, any fashion week, but especially couture, is that you have to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna take a moment and have a little bit of breakfast. I ordered some room service. I think my secret to killer confidence is the less you care, the better. So the first step in my drag process is blocking my eyebrows so that I can recreate. Well, it's super important to open up the eye and that means recreating the shape entirely. And then I take a spoolie and I brush through all the glue. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna color correct all of my sort of bearded areas. Orange is the opposite of blue. It's a bit of color theory, which I actually failed at art school. I learned makeup the old school way, the way a drag queen typically would have learned makeup, which is through other drag queens. Glamour is about taking what you love and enhancing it and taking what you hate and changing it. People always ask me, you know, how long does it take to get fully transformed? If I want to give something my full undivided attention, I have to allow at least three hours. So this is the time that I take for myself. We suffer for the arts. When, I, when I'm corseted and when I'm taped and when I'm wearing a heel, I feel present, I feel centered, and I feel like I'm at work. Eyeliner is always super tricky when you have hooded eyes. So my trick with eyeliner to get it perfect when you have hooded eyes is you just put it like sloppily on and then you blink and then it transfers to the top and then that's the line of demarcation. I mean, it's a dramatic look for a real cis day-to-day -day woman. I am ready for my lashes and my lips. I like a good spiky lash because that way you can sort of see into, through the, the lash, into the makeup. If the lash is too thick, you just basically did your whole eye makeup for no reason because it just looks like a tarantula. I think lashes complete an eye look. I mean, you can just see right there. It's a huge difference. So I like to line my lips first to get the perfect shape. I always overdraw my top lip and make it sort of an exaggerated cupid's bow. Just finish up my eye look with lots of mascara. And then it's time to get into the wiggetry of it all. All right, that is it. I feel fabulous, I look fabulous, and I'm headed to the show. I'll see you guys there. Au revoir. Bonjour. 
Hello. Thank you so much for following me around. I'll see you on the inside.